Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I will show you how to use Printify with Amazon. So this is going to be a beginner's tutorial. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So there's going to be some prerequisites for you to start using Printify with Amazon. Now with any platform, you need to first have an account. So in this case, we'll be showing you how to create an account in Printify as well as a seller account in Amazon. So first things first, open up any browser that you have right now on your PC, go to printify.com and from here, usually at the very top of your screen, you should see the sign up button at the top right. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now in this case, once you've done that, you could go ahead and start creating your account. So in this case, you just need to follow the sign up process here. So you could manually create your account by entering your email, your password, and confirming that you're not a robot, and just click on sign up. But if you already have an existing account, you could go ahead and choose your Google account here, and you should be able to choose again for you to start signing up. Now in this case, uh, it's, if this is the first time that you're opening this, it might ask you some information about yourself. So go ahead and answer that. But once you've answered that, you should be able to see the main UI here on your screen. Now in this case, this is going to be the main UI for Printify. So you have your dashboard, your catalog, your products, your orders, your wallet, your store settings, and branding. Now, in this case, uh, since if you're purling you with the pro uh, platform itself or in Printify, I would actually suggest you to first familiarize yourself with the platform itself. Like, for example, it would actually help you to discover your dashboard for uh, first. So what are the current turning products right now? Printify blog, how to POD, webinars. In this case, you also have the catalog here, which includes Valentine's Day, bestsellers, hoodies, and a lot of other products that is available here. Now, they also have the My Product section here, which in this case actually contains all the products that you have right now. Now, in this case, if you want to create a new order here, like for example, a manual, bulk, or sample here, you could go ahead and do that as well. Now, in this case, we want to browse products here. So just look, so let's just quickly look on some products here. So maybe we want this simple product here. So let's just choose this one. And from here, we could go ahead and click on start designing here to start designing this specific shirt here. Now, in this case, the great thing about Printify here is it lets you actually design your own shirt here. Like for example, maybe we want to add a design from my device here. In this case, we want to choose an image that we want to use. So maybe I want to use this image here that I have. Click on open and it's going to start uploading that image and you should be able to see the image here at the right side. Now, in this case, this is the image that you'll be able to see. You could go ahead and make it a lot larger, but make sure that it's actually within the boundary here. Now, in this case, make sure that it actually fit. So when it's actually fit, you could go ahead and go to the next section here. Now, obviously, there's going to be a lot of things that you could do here, like, for example, changing the color here. But in this case, I actually would like to keep this in white. So you also have the rotate here, positions. If you want to create a pattern here for this specific search, as you can see, this is now a pattern shirt here. Now, also, if you want to make a grid, brick horizontal or brick vertical, you can go ahead and do that. But for now, I'm going to choose the basic one here. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and click on save product here to save your changes. And as you can see, we now have our product, which is this is how it actually looks like, as you can see right now, which is something really cool with how uh, Printify actually works. So you'll be able to design your own shirt here. Now, in this case, you have the product description here. So it's going to be pre-populated for your account here. You also have the tags here so that other people could actually search for a specific product whenever they actually search for a product here. You also have the shipping here, assign shipping profile. So automatically assign a new shipping profile here if you want to use that. You also have the variance here, which includes the pricing. So in this case, just click on select all here. But if you want to edit your pricing here, you could go ahead and click on edit price and you should be able to change the price for that product itself. Now, currently the retail price here is 39.55. The profit is going to $15.82, so profit margin. I love those information, you'll be able to see it in here. Now, in this case, we have the option to uh, show the product visibility, like if you want to hide it to your store, variant visibility, only show in stock variants, mockups, and a lot more. So in this case, if you want to do this and basically you start using it, just click on the publish button at the bottom right of your screen, and you should be able to publish your product. 
Now, in this case, you could go ahead and just start using Printify here. But since we already created our Printify account here, the next thing they want to do is you want to start creating your Amazon seller account. Now, in this case, just go to sell.amazon.com. And from here, just click on the sign up button at the top right of your screen. And from here, what we need to do is we just need to follow these simple steps for PC being, being a seller here in Amazon. So there's a whole, a whole uh, system for this one. It's going to be, uh, there's going to be a pre-approval and approval phase here. So make sure that you have any necessary details includes your IDs, your bank accounts, your credit card statements, charitable credit and debit card and mobile phone. So they want to verify your identity here so that there are going to be uh, some liabilities here. So meaning that they need to confirm your identity. That, so that's why they will need those details. But in this case, once you're sure, just click on begin here. And it should redirect you to another page wherein you need to provide your details. Now we have the business information section, just click on the business location here, the country. So maybe if you're in Australia, make sure you choose Australia here, click on agree here. Also business type here. So maybe I want to say this is for non I'm individual, uh, individual, you go ahead and enter your first name, middle names, last name. And from then just fill out all the necessary details here and provide any documents and click on agree and continue. Now, I would actually assume that you already have an Amazon account here because since you already you, since you already want to connect your Printify account here on Amazon. So we first have to discuss there is there any uh, way or direct way for us to connect our Printify account via Amazon? Well, the direct answer that is Printify is not yet fully integrated into Amazon. But the great thing here is there's actually a hidden system behind those two companies. Now, the great thing about Amazon here, they cater to different uh, organizations and uh, different platforms and uh, different stores. So they have the Amazon FBA. So in this case, you will be using the Amazon FBA services, which in this case, a fulfillment uh, a type of uh, fulfillment by Amazon. So that's what FBA actually means, fulfillment by Amazon. So in this case, you'll be using their services. Also, just to give you some proof, this is actually an article under Printify here, which actually gives you the details on how to uh, basically start selling on Amazon through Printify. So there's a whole, the whole communication for this one. So you need to manually create your own uh, order for this one. So just to give you an overview, I'll be showing you the steps here or the overview. So the first step here is you need to review the available products and quantities uh, available listed. So note that each order can only utilize one print provider and you can select from the predetermined product, product quantities such as 24 items, one box or 48 items, two box. The order can include a mix of products from the chosen print provider. So they have spoke custom products offer, they have swag rabbit offer and sun frog solutions offer. Now for step two, you need to fill out the FBA order form and email it to Printify along with the product labels. Now in this case, I would actually suggest you to visit this specific article from Printify. So you could go to their official help website, which is going to be help.printify.com and use their search functionality here. Just search for, can I use Printify together with fulfillment by Amazon? Now in this case, uh, once you actually click on the FBA order form here, it should give you this uh, specific file here. So it's going to be the FBA order form here. So just to go, uh, just an overview, I'm going to show you the uh, look of this Excel file. So you need to provide your merchant information, product information, and a lot of those details. We also have the box allocation here. So make sure you provide all necessary details here for you to make the connection or the order successful. Now, also, they have the option here to uh, basically um, request some information from you, like merchant business name, store name. I love those details here. You could go ahead and uh, basically visit the form itself for you to fill out those details. Now, also, you, uh, you need to submit the complete form to the following email address here that is stated in here. So it's going to be cyreal at printify.com, but this article might get updated. So I would suggest you to basically visit this for website first and uh, make sure that you check with the uh, 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 email address here if it's actually correct. So along with the Amazon product labels, you need to provide the, the product labels, the following file names convention. For example, it's going to be product one dash labels for product one. Yeah, so those are going to be the file name of the file that you'll be sending here, which is the uh, Amazon FBA form here. 
So in store step three, after receiving confirmation, you need to manually place an order in your Printify account for the product uh, product specified in your FBA order form. So if there are there is a price difference between FBA offer price and the standard premium price, the refund will be issued. Now for step four, once fulfilled, gener generate FBA shipment labels and send them to Printify. So the team will inform you of the preferred carrier, uh, carrier pickup dates, schedule is carrier pickup in your Amazon account, and email the shipping labels at these uh, following email address here. And you can track the shipment's journey from your Amazon account after the carry carrier picks it up. Now, in this case, when you actually go back into your Printify account and go to my products here, usually at the top right here, you could go ahead and click on create order here, and you could go ahead and choose manual here. In this case, you need to choose the product. So make sure that your product that you have here is actually matches what you have on your Amazon account. Just click on select this one. And from here, just choose uh, whatever uh, details here. Like for example, how many product the product costs here, how much, how many. Also, you could go ahead and click on shipping here and complete the whole order. Now, in this case, you also need to provide all the necessary files that is mentioned before, like the FBA, FBA uh, order form and any uh, information needed, like shipping labels and all of those information to the following email address. But yeah, so using Printify and Amazon here can be kind of tricky because there's a whole process, a background system here. Everything is manual right now. But hopefully in the future, uh, this connection or this process will be actually fully integrated within their ship systems. But for now, this is how you actually use Printify with Amazon. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.